Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to use proxies with Mozilla Firefox. There are several ways to do it. One of them which is the easiest and fastest but not recommended way is through the system settings of Firefox itself. All you need to do is go to the top right corner, click on settings, here type proxy, okay, and then just click on the manual proxy configuration button, copy paste your IP and port, for this example we'll be using proxy empires residential proxies, so we just copy the IP and the port, click on the also use this proxy for HTTPS button, and actually below you can select um, websites for which you don't want to use the proxy, so for example you can enter your um, bank's website or google.com or whatever website you don't want the proxy to be used for. Now just click OK. And now we need to open a website, for example google.com and it will ask us for a username and password. In this case um, I'll copy over mine so there we go. Okay, so now we go back to whoar.net and we can verify we're using a US IP. As I mentioned, we're using a residential proxy and whoar doesn't detect it as such, but I will go more into the detail of why I don't recommend using Firefox's built in proxy settings and why you should use a plugin or even better, an anti detect browser like multi-login app. So if you go to pixel scan for example you will see that they manage to detect some issues with the anonymity like the WebRTC which can leak sometimes as well as other things such as the DNS that, that you are using. So you can see that they've detected our browser fingerprints are inconsistent and it, it detected that we're located in Bulgaria and not in the United States. And they most likely detected it through the WebRTC leak, which is not patched in Mozilla Firefox. Another downside to actually using the proxy directly is that it's quite hard to switch between different proxies going through the settings right here. Like you would need to go here every time and change the IP and the port and then the username and the password and it's pretty much a big hassle. So the easier way to do things is actually download Foxy Proxy. I recommend the standard version because the basic version is just too basic for my taste. Okay, here we go. So now <clears throat> all we need to do is click here, click on options and then you have the option to add a new proxy. You can type it, uh, call it, let's say, US1. You can pick the proxy type. Oh, and I forgot to mention that when you use proxies directly in Firefox, you cannot use the SOX5 protocol if your proxies require user and password authentication because of how the Firefox uh, core works. You can only use user and password authentication proxies on the SOX5 protocol using a plugin like Foxy Proxy. So keep this in mind. We'll select, um, we'll select HTTP. So here we copy over the host IP. Actually let me grab a different one this time. Okay. And the port 9000. Username is this one. And then Wi-Fi US. Okay save okay cancel here we go so now we can see it's on here we go so now when we go to whore.net it's showing us a US IP so now let's add one more proxy let's uh, change our location to Netherlands for example Okay, and one HTTP proxy IP port 9000. We copy over the username. Uh, proxy Empire carries the targeting settings in the proxy password, so make sure that you keep an eye on this. Okay, save. 
So now when we open the Hoor website, we'll see that we now have a Dutch IP. So it's pretty simple to save several different proxies and switch between them within Foxy Proxy. However, if we go to Pixel Scan, we'll see that again, that our browser fingerprint is inconsistent and we're most likely using a proxy. So this way we recommend working with anti-detect browsers like Multilogin, AdsPower, Lincoln Sphere, even GoLogin, which is not our favorite option, but it's still a better option than just using a normal browser, simply because a normal browser is not made for cloaking your fingerprint as good as possible, and it, it just leaks information. And if you really want the best that you can do for your anonymity, definitely consider getting an anti-detect browser.